wanted to pursue my passions my whole entire life and spend time with animals and making their life better. There's just something so wild and beautiful about animals and I just want to be able to know everything about them. So I thought veterinary medicine was a great place to start. Seeing how the vet is interacting with the animal, trying to comfort them, I think it's a very rewarding experience to be a vet and try to like safeguard the lives of the animals. Prevent the disease by having a, a nice shed with enough, and enough air coming in, the animals get good uh, feed. One Health is a course that we are currently taking and it's the idea that animal health, human health and also the environment, those three components are all interrelated. We not only learn about animal welfare and how to take care of animals, but we learn about other things like food safety and aquaculture, which are such important things in our modern globalized world. Open up the animal and have a really good look at you. The postmortem room is my favorite part of the lab because even though animals cannot talk, that animal can tell us a lot about how they died and why they died. And finding out the cause of death is very important. So that's why we are doing the postmortem session to find out what's wrong with the animal and try to solve the problem with our ways. It's the ear back and it's pulled, it's like this and it's showing its teeth at you. Maybe you want to be a bit careful. I think animal welfare interests me the most because it's very hard to achieve a balance between human welfare and animal welfare. It's a very key role that veterinarians have to play. Food safety is the most interesting and important thing from a consumer point of view. We uh, consider the price, we consider the quality of the food uh, and the meat products, but we kind of never think about the safety of it. We need to be more aware of uh, what we are putting in our mouths, uh, what farmers are sending off to the abattoir, what the people are uh, serving on their plates. Being a vet in Hong Kong doesn't only mean being in small animal practice, but also in some food company or some food chain. This is actually going to help a lot in terms of safeguarding Hong Kong from um, infectious disease. We'll do skin scrapings and we'll look at them under the microscope. And 1.02. It is important to do such research on aquatic animals because uh, we need to monitor their health conditions so that we can ensure the food safety of humans when we consume um, the fish and other animals in the aquatic ecosystem. This is the first and only vet program in Hong Kong and that's why I choose it because I think that it is important for us to learn about the local situation like if we are able to study vets in the place that we are brought up that means we can be more familiarized with the local animal issues. The curriculum is great too because it encompasses so many different disciplines. We learn about law, we learn about physics. I do recognize that it's really important because it brings another viewpoint and perspective into veterinary medicine. Uh, hopefully one day humans will realize that we're not the dominant species, we're not above every single animal and to kind of gain respect for different species of animals. The role of a vet is really important because if the animals are healthy, the people are healthy. But if the animals aren't healthy, then there's no way the people can be healthy either because it works as an ecosystem and everything is linked together. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you?